Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will gonna studying about why negative edge triggering is more preferred than positive edge triggering. So, what is the reason behind it? If you are seeing any of the logic gates or any of the circuit made by using flip flops or by integrated by using ICs, so most of the time you will find this negative edge triggering. It doesn't mean that they don't like this positive edge triggering. Both of them have their certain advantages. By most of them, they will prefer for negative edge triggering. So, what is the reason for this? So, in this video, we will be explaining what is the exact reason for making a negative edge triggering. So, let's get started. So, basically, you need to know about that uh, negative edge triggering is why? Because if I am flip flop, consider this as a flip flop. This flip flop is integrated by using an IC. So you need to go behind that an IC. This IC will be designed by using certain specification like PMOS technology or NMOS technology. So if you are learning six semester, you may know about PMOS and NMOS technology. So what happens is they will use most of the IC will configure by using NMOS technology. So this is the reason for why they use negative clock pulse. And another one more reason is in NMOS technology, the electrons flow will be a more, which means it will be a faster one rather compared to this. If a positive edge triggering and negative edge triggering both are applied for theoretically both will work at the same speed. But for practically we integrated all our most of our IC with a specification called as NMOS technology. So why NMOS technology? The next question. So I am surely giving the answer for this question. So here is the answer. So here we are seeing this is as an NMOS and this is PMOS. So you can see right here there will be substrate and if you are learning VLSI then this is the basic topic. So there are two main reasons why we generally consider NMOS. So mobility of electrons is almost twice that of PMOS. If there is an N MOS and P MOS, then definitely we can say that N is equal to two times of P. Just for assumption, I am telling. So which means here it is two times faster. And so most of the time N MOS will be applied. And another one is on resistance of N MOS will be half of the P MOS. So this is a very good one. Which means if resistance is less, then input impedance will be less. So it can take most of the input to it, and it will do all the calculations as fast as possible when compared to PMOS. So in order to achieve the same channel resistance, NMOS can be half size of the PMOS. So final result is NMOS will be a two times faster than PMOS if it is used. So NMOS will be used as designing for all the ICs. So we will use those ICs for doing any of the circuit or designing any type of the circuit. So we inevitably use for negative edge clock pulse. So this is the main reason of using negative edge clock pulse. NMOS, we can see right here in NMOS, the mobility of the electrons is almost twice that of PMOS, which is a good thing. For this reason only NMOS is preferred over PMOS, but even some of the transistor will even use PMOS, but NMOS will be preferred more. So if you are like this video, please give me a thumbs like. If you found this video as so informative, leave me a comment in the below. Thank you and don't forget to subscribe my channel.